Hello guys, welcome back to Kia Music Academy. This is Kia here and today I'm going to be teaching you a very cool and very useful rumba flamenco technique. And this is also called a rasqueado technique. So I'm going to be teaching you how to play this and it can be played on the song, it can be paired with dances and all that type of stuff. So let's zoom in on my hand and I'm going to show you guys how to do this. All right guys, for the, so for the time being, we're actually just zooming in on my right hand because right now I'm teaching you the right hand pattern and then the next step will be I'll show you the left hand pattern. So what we want to do here, we actually start on our fourth string here. So we don't have anything to do with these two strings for now. We start here. So we've got our P or thumb here on the fourth string. I or index finger here on the third. Middle finger or M here on the second string. And find the A or our ring finger on the last sixth string. So each finger is positioned there. And what we're going to start doing is, so the first movement, just pluck the fourth string with the thumb. And then, so do this. And what I actually want you to do is bring back your ring finger to the third string and you're gonna just pluck it. When you pluck it, it looks like my whole hand is moving because the fingers are coordinated that way together. But and actually it's just, do you see those two fingers move together because I can't separate them naturally. The next step, so you got thumb, ring, and then you do the same thing with the middle finger and then the same thing with the index finger. So thumb, one, two, three. So when you basically do that, it's plucking all three of these strings with each finger. So that's all it is. So that's our first little section. So you've got then we go back up with the index, down, up, down. So when you put that all together, thumb, ring, middle, index, up, down, up, down. And take a moment to pause that and practice that through. But when you manage to speed that up a little bit more, it's just going to sound like this. And that's a pattern that we want to use as well. So it's going to be. You can again pause that little section and go back over it. But don't try this at this speed before you've gotten a little bit more fluent with it. So first start off slowly. And make sure when you come back up, you only actually come back up to the third string. So you don't want to go further than like this string. So you don't want to go onto this string. You just want to. All my movements are happening within these three strings with my index, middle and ring finger and my thumb is just sitting on, on this fourth string here. So now I'm going to show you guys the left hand pattern and then the chords that you can use for this. So over onto the left hand now. Now we're starting, we had this in the last video where I did another rumba and flamenca technique, but so sorry, that was a Spanish arpeggio actually, but it's the same chords again. So you've got a variation of E major. So this is the full E major. This is just the variation with, without the ring finger. It's just, and again, you're just strumming from the fourth string here. Now, after you've got this, the next chord, you're going to go to the same shape. You just move, you put this finger down and then you just move these two back. You can see through the chord diagram here as well. This is the variation of the F major. got to do with this for the next chord move it down once and move it down another time and just like that you have the variation of your G major so our three chords E F G now when we play this technique I'll explain a little bit more in detail but it's gonna sound like so you're gonna have two of this one but then only one of this another one and then and then we finish with a full E major so two two one one finish I'll explain this in a little bit more detail in the next section but first try to get these chords 
and make sure you get nice and smooth transitions. If you if you practice this a little bit, you'll be able to easily go from this one, and this is pretty easy because you just gotta move down. All right guys, so let's actually try to practice this a little bit slower now. So we're not gonna take it at full speed just yet. So we're gonna go a little bit slower. So. teaching in another video later on so for now you can just we'll just do a strum like that all right so let's actually speed it up a little bit more now so we're gonna go at real tempo here now this is in three four so one two and three and one and two and three so that's how you're gonna be counting in your head but my suggestion is instead of counting actually just trying to feel the beat a little bit more because that makes this whole process a little bit easier so all right, let's get it. And uh, let, sorry, let's get ready, and you guys can join me and play this once you've gotten a little bit faster. Ready? So there we have it guys, Romba Flamenco slash Rasque Artist Technique. So you can, there's lots of different names for these techniques, but in like all together, they come under the section of Romba Flamenco Spanish music. And you can even sense that when you hear the music. Now my tip with this is to start practicing it really slowly because you want to get the even hits between especially your ring finger, middle finger and index finger when you do that fast section. So really go back through it, pause the video, keep practicing and then put it with the part where I play at the real speed and try to match it up and then hopefully start to get that a little bit more fluent. Now the coming videos are going to be explaining more techniques like the one I use in this video and other Spanish stuff. So if that's something you're interested in, I'll suggest that you stick around in our channel and wait for the coming videos. Thank you so much guys. Keep practicing. Give it a like and follow if you like this video. I'll see you in the next one.